it, okay? Ending of one very sweet story, and hopefully the beginning of another much happier one. We started this workshop on St. Patrick's Day almost exactly four months ago. We've had 10 full workshops since then, and now some of our group members are in the process of shooting their own videos to enter into film festivals. We've all learned a lot and even had fun. Incy Beansy Spider crawled up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. I really enjoyed coming to this video workshop because it's taught me a lot. Working with Lee has been really inspirational. I've been able to focus quite a bit of my work on different levels and it's been uh, a really fascinating experience. And the sense of community has been wonderful. I've been loving all the people I've been getting to know. You look good, Helen. Thank you, thank you. Nothing like a little survival. Tends to do it to your spine or something. Do you know I actually saw Graced? It's been a real blast. I've met a lot of new people, done some very innovative things. I've uh, seen how it looks like from the uh, perspective of the viewer and the cameraman. Uh, I'm an artist by trade and uh, this has allowed me to expand in many areas and uh, in shooting film it's also expanded me with dialogue with other people in the group. Okay, we'll talk. Um, what, at your offices or? Sure, let's go. Oh, uh, fine. I've learned to be more um, conscious of the different shots and the establishing shots. Sometimes I would sort of do that without knowing what they were called so that sort of gave me a background and some more theory and that and uh, it's really it's really interesting to um, you know do something really quickly too you know like you just kind of film a skit um, after not even writing it just kind of really getting it together quickly and uh, doing that so it's, it's a good process. I really enjoy that process and uh, people are very supportive and you know a lot of little short films are getting done. Hey, I know you. You're pretty smart. There was a lot of things that I didn't know about film production until I met up with Lee and uh, anxious to see, you know, the kind of stuff that she does um, because we're doing a documentary and uh, she's going to be editing the stuff and, you know, I started getting settled into here, you know, because it just, it just teaches you, like, just how to how to communicate anything you want Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Mook. bring in one of your Johnny bring in Mook. one of your brats anything you want Johnny Mook. okay oh Lee used to dub the DVD when we did skits and she'd give us a copy of it Jack and Jill went up the hill you know what I'm saying 
Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill. Ran up the hill to. Went up the hill, you know what I'm saying? Edited too, with from her, and it looks. It might awesome. be hydrated, but it might have to do with the smoke in this hellhole. I've been working here for 15 years, and I'm just about ready to pay off my fucking house, and I don't need some nut job like you coming in here to sell me water. I'm not just your water, an average water guy, okay? I've been studying this for a long period of time now. I've put out a movie, The Power of Water, right? And if you watch my movie, right? You're gonna be able, you're either gonna to wanna to drink a whole bunch of water or piss it. It's uh, taught me a lot about actual hands on, you know, how to make a film. And so you've gone through script writing, how do you actually shoot films? camera the different angles and, and uh, how uh, basically Hi. how to put a film together. How are you doing? I didn't know you came to this country. I'm currently uh, involved in acting and so it's I've been able to meld the two things together, the actual filmmaking with the acting. So in the filmmaking class it's uh, it's you know we do improv and we'll shoot the improvs and we'll learn from that and as well as learning about filmmaking. Okay, but what about the brown scales in the sink brown scales. after you shave? What about those? Brown scales? Yeah. What are, what are you talking about? Well, I've been finding brown scales in the sink after you shave. I've never seen anything like them before. <laughs> Uh, the video workshop was new to me because I have acted but I don't know anything about what goes on behind the scenes and I found it extremely interesting, in fact uh, quite intriguing about the way shots are done and what goes on while the actors are acting and in the last couple of months since I've been in the workshop I feel I've learned quite a bit about the filming end of it. idea to sort of do a small film from beginning to end and that way you get to see uh, the whole thing and how it's set up. Anyways, we're going to um, Wonderland tomorrow. Oh yes. yes, I'm in Wonderland now. God, what do I tell everybody? Well, this is the way life is now, uh, Mom. Oh. He, he has two little girls and so we're going to take him up to Wonderland. Oh yeah, okay, well that sounds like fun. Would you like to come? No, I'll be home. Uh, Arranging to move. God, what do I tell my friends? Wonderland, my son is gay as a day in May. This is all a little bit of a shock to you, isn't it? I think it? it is, yes, George. Yeah. Some of the editing of the improvs was quite challenging. Despite that, I had a lot of fun, and I'm going to miss it. Well, time to move on. Let's wait until we move into the art house. Mm. Um, I found it to be an interesting community building project, learning who's got what resources that we can pull together, uh, learning how to deal with different people. Um, we've all taken on different roles, like some people have been working with camera, some people have been strong at writing scripts, some people at directing. So we've all been learning about each other's strengths and then how to use those strengths when we need to produce our own material. And it's really amazing to think that we've done all this without any money uh, being required from the participants. Um, Good evening, this is George Sways and Gloria Windsor and uh, this report has just come in and uh, apparently there's been some attempt at child molestation. 
Uh, little Miss Muffet was sitting on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey, and along came a spider and sat down beside her and chased Miss Muffet away. I'm learning some skills about uh, scripting. I'm, I'm learning some stuff about uh, how to shoot because I have never shot this kind of stuff. I've, I've shot uh, documentary stuff, rock and roll bands and some industrial shoots, which is quite a different thing from shooting people pretending to be somebody they aren't and in situations they would never possibly be in. So I'm learning that, I'm enjoying that. Um, I'm learning a little bit about how to do real audio for that kind of a thing. Well, as I said, I'm, a, I'm an audio geek. I make music, but I haven't done audio actually for a film thing, so I'm learning about that kind of stuff. Bésame, bésame mucho. That's it, I guess. Thank you for watching this video. The purpose of this series of workshops at Six St. Joseph House was to give those in our community who suffer from drug and alcohol addictions or mental health issues a greater sense of social interaction, peer development, and self-esteem through the medium of video and film production. The purpose of the documentary was to give closure to all the participants and to highlight the benefits offered by such a program within our community. We wish to thank all the people involved for supporting our endeavors. Pretty quite all set. So you basically talk from your heart, okay? You just wait till I count you down. Relax, okay? okay just relax. I'm all set up. Yeah, just <laughs> All set up. Okay, cut. Cut.